Hi there, Lindsay here, the Frugal Crafter. Today I have a really fun video because I've got a giveaway. The fine folks at Color It are giving away three sets of these watercolor brush pens. And the other cool thing about this video is that these are refillable. So, I mean, I think most watercolor brush pens, if you want to pry the back off and find some liquid watercolor that matches or re -inker that's pretty close to matching, you could refill pretty much any brand out there. But that's not something that is recommended by the manufacturer. And of course, you got to guess or mix your own ink. But um, Color It actually came out with a set of 24 markers and 24 refills. So if you use up a color, you can buy the um, ink bottle that will refill a marker 15 times. So I just think this is very sustainable. I hate the idea of throwing pens away when they run out or even having to just throw away one pen and buy that one pen again if you don't have to. So let's take a look at this set here. Of course, all their stuff is beautifully packaged. I saved these boxes actually, and I have a problem. I, I actually, this weekend, just sorted and reorganized all of my empty storage storage, but I do save these boxes because they're so nice for storing other things or even for wrapping gifts. I would wrap, you know, I would, I would put a gift in here. I mean, it's almost pretty enough that I would probably just, you know, cover up the wording, you know, maybe just and wrap a piece of ribbon around it or something because they, so I can use the artwork because it's just so pretty. So that's one thing. I do like the packaging. Um, I do like that throughout their line of products, they have very sustainable products. I have worked with the Color It stuff for a couple of years now. They have sponsored videos in the past, so I just want to disclose that, that I do have a relationship or I have had a relationship with this company. And then when I saw they came out with the re refillable brush pens, I contacted them and asked them if I could review them. And they said, absolutely. And we'll give three sets away to your, um, to your viewers. So, uh, so you'll need to enter at my blog and I'll randomly draw three people that leave a comment on my blog. Only I, I do that on my blog because I can see your email address when you leave a comment. The world doesn't see it, but I can see it on my blog's back end. And that way I email the winners. I don't just post it and hope that the winners see it. I actually email you. So that's why I do it on my blog and not here on YouTube because I want to make sure I can contact people if, uh, if they win. Um, so all the details will be on my blog post. So uh, as with their other products, they have a beautiful reusable container that it comes in. Um, and we've got 24 colors here. And let's just take a look here at these. They are, as you can see, fine tip brush pens. And you can get a really, really razor fine mark or you can press it down and get a thicker mark. So I think it would be really good if you like do the hand lettering, you know how to do that sort of thing. I actually, after getting these, I was at the Dollar Tree and I saw this book, um, Crayolography. <laughs> I think it's meant for like doing calligraphy with a like, Crayola markers. And so I figured that's probably about my pace. And so um, I picked this up for a buck and then I just practiced with one of the red pens. And what I was trying to do actually, I was seeing if I could run it out of ink so I could refill it. Um, I didn't come close to running it out of ink but I did have fun. This is a very porous paper, so it feathers a little bit. But um, I think that, I mean, I have no uh, really, really experience with doing brush lettering, but I think they look all right considering I don't really know what I'm doing. Um, so if I can get a decent look out of these pens, I imagine anybody that had some experience with brush lettering would do all right with these. Uh, but I also wanted to compare them to the size of the other brush markers that are on the market and pretty popular right now that I've reviewed in the past. Um, so I made this little, this little sheet here and I'm going to zoom in a little bit. So, um, so I can show you the tips of the marker so you can kind of compare them because we all have different needs when we're crafting and creating art. And, um, I think this sort of thing is kind of important to see. So this is the color at one and you can see the size of the tip there. And then next let's do the Zig. The Zig is probably the first company to come out with the, with the real brush pens. So I would say the Zig is probably the smallest tipped marker that I have used, real brush marker. And then I would say the color is kind of in the medium range. Then let's see, this is the Ahuhu real brush pen. That's got kind of that medium tip as well. And here we can see it over here. We've got the color it, we've got the Zig, we've got the Ahuhu. Next up, we've got the Mozart. So they pretty much all honestly perform about the same. Um, it's so like, obviously if you have one of these sets and they're not running out of ink yet, you know, and there's no need to run out and, and buy them. But if you are looking for something that you can refill, I think it's a good, I think it's a good value. I mean, I suppose if they sell the color that's similar to what you would need for your marker, you could pry off the end and refill it that way. Um, but it is kind of nice to know that you're going to get a reliable result because result you are refilling it with the, with a 
the marker that it's meant for. So there's your Uhuhu, there's your Mozart, and there's your Arteza. The only thing to that I would um that I would note amongst these five markers is that the Uhuhu marker you do have to go a little slower with. I find that um it just doesn't it doesn't feed the ink out as quickly as some of the other ones do. Uh, so there's that. Okay, I want to try refilling uh, one of these pens. Um, since I was using the red one so much in that calligraphy book, I figured I would try to refill that one. And I've got my bottle of refill ink right here. So um, when you get the bottle of refill ink, it comes um, packaged up in a sealed bottle, and then the bottle, um, the box is sealed, and then the bottle sealed, which is nice. So if you're ordering, say you just want to order everything to make sure you had it when you needed it but you're not ready to use it you could I'd leave it in the box sealed up that way it would resist any evaporation or leaking or anything like that so that's what I'd recommend doing if you decide that you just have to have them all wrapped up because you want to do some like liquid watercolor paintings and some other projects what I would do is I would cut off the um, side of the box there because there's the instructions for refilling your marker it says um just squeeze gently or drip 10 drops into brush per cartridge. Let it saturate for a few minutes before use. So you just want to kind of keep that information there. And one bottle will do a marker 15 times, which is really cool. I'll show you the um I'll show you the assortment here and the color numbers are on the caps and the color number and name is on the front of the bottle. So I would just double check before you refill, make sure that the number and the, the name on the side of your marker, Regal Red number C183 matches C183 and C183 and that way you could also check if you were doing like some liquid watercolor painting and you had all your stuff out um, you know on the table and you had all your caps off you can double check to make sure you've got the right cap on the right bottle so you don't you don't want to re-ink your pen with the wrong color that would be so frustrating because then it would be very confusing when you go to use it because these do have the color-coded um, ends and whatnot so to re-ink you simply unscrew the end it's designed for this you don't have to bite it with your with your teeth or um, pry it off with a palette knife or anything like you do with the other <laughs> the other markers if you're trying to refill them because I have you know refilled my other ones uh, but you know you got to be careful and then uh, you just want to drip in about I'm only going to do a couple because this is not dry so one, two, three. I'm just gonna do like three drops, but you know, ten for a like bone dry marker. And then you you can see in there these markers are not loose in there like a, say a mermaid marker. Like I'll show you this. So this is like this is a Jane Davenport mermaid marker. It's like a water brush. It's filled with liquid ink. So that's not what this is. This will feed out your your ink really quickly, which is super fun and um, a wonderful product in and of itself. This has like a, a pad in the center, like a regular marker, like any other marker would have. So that pad gets saturated with the ink, and then you get a very controlled flow of the ink when it comes out. So you just screw that on tight and then I would just leave it horizontally they say for a few minutes and then you're ready to go again um, obviously this was not dry when I started but but it's you know I wanted to show you how to do it just in case you know you were tentative if you got the set and you're like geez I need to refill it I'm not sure how that's how you do it it's pretty easy. So I also thought it'd be fun to do a swatch. I did a swatch here just on some inexpensive watercolor paper and I also did a, um, I also just stamped this. This is a pretty stamp from Simon Says Stamp. I stamped it and I colored it with the pens the other night and I'm like well this is working really well on really inexpensive watercolor paper so I thought I would try it on my uh, favorite stamping watercolor paper which is a Fabriano Studio Hot Press. It's not very expensive but I really like it and I got these new stamps from Waffle Flower and I'll show you here they're all meant for like doing watercolor swatches color pencil swatches swatching out your different art supplies they're really um they're really fun so i thought it'd be neat just to do um to use this stamp here because what i'm thinking is i would do um i would color the first two um the first two sections of each box because you see all those little tick marks color the first two sections of the of the box and then well hope I'm not very neat I just went outside the lines um, and then I could go in with a brush and I could spread out the second set section down to the third so I can see like how they look when they are um, when they are diluted and lightened now something I noticed on the swatches that I did um, on my inexpensive paper is that at first they looked a little blotchy but then they um, they cleared up so let's zoom in and do that I don't know if I'm going to leave all this footage in or not because it seems like it might be pretty dull. Um, so you could do it two ways. You could um, swatch it 
and then spread it or you could even swatch them all then let them dry and then spread them out it's completely up to you but this way I can see the first column is straight marker the second column has had water added and the third column is how I blended it out and then I'd be able to see which colors blend best which ones don't that way when I am and I can keep this right in my marker case so that when I am when I am working with them I can determine you know how I need to use a color if a color looks like oh, that's not going to blend very well then I can um, I can know to maybe work light to dark on that if it blends really well I'll know that I can do dark to light because I like to do dark to light a lot just because it's a little quicker um, but some colors like reds and purples are really difficult to blend so in those cases I don't want to work I want to work light to dark so uh, so that's why I'm going to do that. So I'm just going to go through. This is pretty dull to watch. I'm going to go finish up the swatch card and then come back and then give you my final thoughts. And, um, and yeah. Okay, here we have the finished swatch. It looks so neat and tidy, even with my messy coloring. Um, you can see how some colors blended out really smoothly and some left a little bit of a line. And that's really helpful to know when you're going to be stamping and coloring um, how you're going to get the best results. So if I look at this, I know that if I were to um, maybe color a base with one of these two colors and then go in there with a shadow here with this and kind of like layer it up, I'd probably get a better result than if I went in with this and tried to blend it out with one of these colors so just by having the like first real color swatch on the paper I usually use and then being able to see how the different colors are gonna blend another thing that I thought would be really fun is to use a liquid watercolors as liquid watercolors and not just marker refills because if you can find a product that does double duty that is um, that's gonna be more valuable and if you've wanted to try liquid watercolors and you like the watercolor markers too you might as well um, you might as well get one product that will do both so I'm just gonna put out a couple colors here on this little ceramic palette and then I'll just kind of probably just do a little bit of an abstract painting so we can see how the colors go on um, watercolor paper. The colors are a lot darker in the bottles than they are in the marker, I think. So I, I'm just kind of eyeballing color, colors here to see what what I want. Now these are one ounce bottles, so if you are familiar with like the size of an alcohol ink bottle or a stamp pad reinker, this is twice as big. Those are usually half ounce. So just to give you an idea of how much um, liquid you're getting here. And the uh, the pen set with the case is twenty nine dollars twenty nine ninety nine I believe, and these are each five ninety nine. So um, you can get them. You know they come individually, so you can buy one as you run out as you need it. So you don't have to invest a lot of money at once. This color looks really pretty too. Thrilling teal. Okay, so let's um, let's start by spraying some water on our paper. And then let's take a, oh, let's grab this brush here. Let's grab this dagger brush. That'll be fun. Maybe let's make some, make a stem or something, make some flowers. Ooh, that's pretty in the, uh, in the, um, in the splashy, the splashy background. Oh, that's fun. Okay. Maybe we'll do, um, oh, let's do some purple. Let's do like a, ooh, let's do this purple. There's a lot of colors here. It's probably more than you would generally need. I, you know, if you were going to just do some liquid watercolor painting, there's 24 colors available. Let's do maybe like a, I don't know, spiky flower, like a lavender or a lupin or something. Maybe grab a little bit of blue to go in there. They mix really well. Do another one over here. Maybe do some poppies. Do another one over here, maybe. I like playing with this dagger brush, it's a lot of fun. Can do a little yellow in those poppies. We can just drop it right in there. And let's see, maybe some dangle of bluebells or something.
I just like to see the colors flowing together. I find that very satisfying. And I generally, I don't work with liquid watercolors very much. I tend to use the uh, watercolors from the tube a little bit more, uh, or from the pan rather, because I like to, uh, I like how they're always ready whenever I am. But these colors are definitely gonna gonna perform just fine as far as liquid watercolors. Now, the thing I do want to just make you aware of is that these are dye based colors, so um, these are not going to be light fast. Very few markers are light fast. The only two I can think of that are would be the um, Windsor and Newton pigment markers and Windsor and Newton watercolor markers. Um, so these dyes are like you know in any water-based marker other than those two I just mentioned um, they are going to fade. So if you wanted a liquid watercolor that was light fast you'd want to get like a Dr. PH Martin's uh, Hydras but because of the pigments in there that, those are not going to be good for refilling any of your brush markers because they're thick and they could actually clog up your brushes and make kind of a mess. So um, so you just need to make sure you know what you're getting and it's going to suit the needs that you want. But I do definitely think you could use this for, you know, liquid watercolor experimentation, refilling your markers, um, just all around fun. You know, if you want to do some fun backgrounds, you could just spritz this and, you know, make a whooshy background that you could, ooh, that's so pretty. You know, just make a whooshy background that you could, you know, stamp on top of or, or something you could do or resist if you had stamped some stuff in clear to begin with and you could do like a, um, uh, embossed resist or you know anything like that just uh, some really fun medium really good quality products before we go I'll show you some of the other um, things that they have because everything that they uh, produce is um, meant to be refillable and I think that's a totally awesome thing so I just showed you the markers I'm going to show you their other pens and pencils just so you can kind of get an idea for that as well okay the first thing I'm going to show you here um, before we go is their alcohol pens and here we've got the swatch inside of what all the colors look like and then this is how they are in their case this is a set of 48 and they do sell the individual markers I don't think they have reinkers for these but you can replace a marker if it runs out which is um, it's nice it'd be nice if they had a, like a liquid reinker maybe they do I'll have to double check on that and let you know in the video description but that way you don't have to rebuy the whole case and it's got a nice reusable case Ooh, the next thing here we have is the colored gel pen set and I did save the box because it's easier for me to keep this on my bookshelf it's just easier to store than in the just in the um, the canvas um, and here you have gel pen refills so there's 48 refills so once any of these pens go dry you can find the refill and put it in it and you can get the refills a package of the 48 refills for ten dollars I believe right around there so once you've bought the set of gel pens you never need to buy them again you just refill the uh, that little plastic thing on the inside so um, I really like how everything is very easily organized and it's very easy to take with you if you're going on a maybe you're going to you know you're going on a trip for a couple weeks and you want to have your supplies with you but you don't want to carry everything it's a nice little set to bring and then finally I want to show you their coloring pencils here and they sell um, a refill pack of the pencils I don't think you get the pencils individually but you can get a cardboard case for like $20 of the pencils only I believe they're 20 um, again I will put everything in the video description so you can find it and investigate that for yourself but again it's a really nice case um, the colors are beautiful and um, I think they're I'm thinking there's 72 here uh, but gorgeous gorgeous selection of colors and um, these are all designed for coloring book artists but you can obviously use them for whatever sort of um, art you do uh, I really like them for card making they're they're uh, very easy to blend they all work very well together and um, if you're you know especially if you have a tiny craft room or just a little like a corner of a bookshelf and that's all you have for storing your supplies to have like four matching cases all the supplies you need you can stow your reinkers you know in a box somewhere else and just take them out when you need to refill a marker which wouldn't be that frequently and you can have a really beautiful collection that's very minimal that you know will do a lot of versatile different things so if you are interested in any of these products I'll have them linked in the video description as long with the cute uh, flower stamps here that I use from the 
Seven of Stamp and the swatch from Waffle Flower. And make sure you go over to my blog, thefrugalcrafter.wordpress.com and sign up to go into the prize draw for a set of the watercolor markers. So I'll be giving away three sets of the watercolor markers, not the refills, but the case with the beautiful markers. And um, I will choose a winner in one week. So don't wait um, and good luck. Uh, thank you so much. I want to thank Color It for um, supplying the giveaway prizes this week and sending these over for me to review. It was a lot of fun. And um, that's it. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Hopefully I can help you out. And until next time, happy crafting!